Hello, this is U Shades TV and you are watching Get It Right. We've been speaking on suicide and so far we've defined it as a deliberate act of taking one's life. We've also looked at the causes or the factors that could possibly lead to what to, to that could possibly lead to someone taking his or her life. And some of those factors included family issues, financial problems, as well as depression. Today, I have two people here with me who are going to address suicide from the angle in which it can be prevented. I am the icon of Asadans. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Uh, with me here today is Agenda Gabriela. And I have Alade and welcome to the show. I'm glad to have Kelly, now start with you. Um, you, you, you are aware that recently there have been reports in the media of people committing suicide. From a general perspective, how do you think suicide can be prevented from happening at all? Suicide. Uh, suicide is a general thing that, like you said, that goes on, like people taking like very but um, in a way to call suicide like, is taking one's life deliberately and it's a common thing that is going on now. So in order to call suicide, like you have to inform people, you talk to them, sometimes you create a platform that will make them know that suicide is bad. Um you can you can create a blog yeah on internet and make sure people reach reach the blog like they, they get to they get to access the blog then you talk more about suicide um, and what it can cause and how it can be called and sometimes you bring it up in churches like you talk you can meet your religious father and make make him know or she or anybody to know to let the people know about suicide that is punishable and it's not good it's our life okay let's say you have to take your life because you're not feeling good you're feeling um like you're not within you're not well, i would like it i don't know how to put it but like you're feeling retracted from people, you're not feeling yourself in the society. You just have to find a way to talk to the person. Like even if you see it online, you talk on internet, and it depends on whoever you. There's a way you talk the person about it, and you even advise the person to see a therapist. So you can prevent it that way. Then you maybe you write articles or something on suicide, put that on newspaper and okay, internet because internet is widely accepted now so you can reach almost everybody on internet. Alright, thank you. So if I've gotten you uh, correct, you have mentioned internet yeah. that is using the same mass media including uh, blogs, newspapers and trying to talk to people and let them know that suicide is not an answer. Yes. And we also mentioned uh, religion, people in churches or uh, mosques, they can, they can come in as well to talk to their members and tell them that suicide is not an option. Yes. 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 Okay. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Ade, I hope you are fine today. I'm very fine today. All right. Uh, how do you think suicide can be prevented generally? Um, prevention of suicide. Um, I'll say there are two basic steps to which you can approach it. You can approach it from uh, the government level, that is the general level, and then from the personal level. Okay. If you are talking about it from the government level, you look at the legislations or agencies or bodies that can set up to assist people with the tendency of suicide and follow up those that are attempted to commit suicide. For example, there could be a monitoring body whereby we have people assigned psychologists or they are assigned to people that have committed suicide before, ensuring that they attend 
um, talks to assist them get through the situation, to prevent them from going into the world. But the primary thing that we don't to uh, prevent it is listening. Many a time, people that have the tendency to commit suicide, they voice out. They put it on Facebook, they talk to their friends, family, and one of two things happens. Either they are condemned or they are ignored. It's a situation about uh, three years ago where a young man kept it there on Facebook. He actually announced the date he was going to commit suicide. And everybody made fun of it until he posted a picture of the news he was going to hang himself with. And they still took it as a joke. The next day was there. Now, suicide, as I said before, is uh, when someone feels like he doesn't have a place in the community. When he feels left out, he feels there's nobody he can reach out to, to talk to. So, on a personal level, the best way, if you feel you have a tendency, or if you feel you're not someone who has a tendency, the best thing you can do for the person is create connections with the person. Be the person's friend. If you can't be the person's friend, link him up to someone that can help, a psychologist. Mental disorders are dangerous, and many people take them for granted. So another way you could prevent it is taking mental disorders seriously. If you feel you are getting depressed, don't self-diagnose. See a doctor, see a psychologist. In Nigeria, there's this stigma with uh, psychiatric hospitals. They be used for only mad people. Uh, in Lagos, we say Yaba left. That is to the left of Yaba and the home for mad people. But it's not always like that. No more people have mental disorders. In fact, it's almost sometimes like I can say, if you don't have mental disorder, you have a problem in the world. We all have our own issues. But then, the severity differs, and not all of them can be It's good to so get the right. Thank you. We should listen to our friends as well as they should talk to us. If something is worrying you or you have something that you think might lead you to say something, we can talk to our friends. It's better to close back and keep your friends. We know that we really have. And uh, you also said we should, uh, treat, we should take mental disorders serious. So if you feel something is wrong with you, don't keep it to yourself. Try to talk to a doctor or to a friend who hopefully might be able to help you in one way or the other. Alright, I hope you are enjoying the show. Now let's go to the street and hear what people have to say about this particular topic because suicide is a serious problem. It's everywhere, it's everywhere in the world and people are dying, killing themselves. So let's hear what people on the street have to say with their suggestions and ways in which suicide can be prevented.